We've come to Peterhead now for our next loft visit. And this is the National Wind Loft from Jim Donaldson. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. How long have you been in the sport? Since 1980. Yeah, what's the circumstances of you starting up? Well, my son, he was wanting to keep pigeons, but he didn't stick it, so I got it enough for him. Yeah, so you sort of took over? Mm -hmm. What's one or two of your best performances? Well, best performance must be the national winner, I suppose. But the, the one I got the biggest throw was the Mealy Hen for New York, 775 mile, yeah. in the second day. She's been my, my favourite bat, she's never let me down that one. No. She was 40th in the whole of Scotland at New York, and then she was 15th in the whole of Scotland at South Tilly. And she's left some good bats as well. Yeah, brilliant. Um, where did you win the national from? South Tilly. So, how far was that? 6.05. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. You won the section four times in one season? Uh -huh. That's a fantastic record, Jim. Fantastic. 6.05, 6.50, 7.75 and 6.05. Yeah. And then the same year I was the uh, second fed for South Delhi in another race. Yeah, it's brilliant. What sort of racing do you like to do? Distance racing. Oh, long distance? Yeah. yeah. So, so, what's the longest distance you fly? Seven seven five to one. Yeah, absolutely tremendous racing. Uh -huh. This is a nice pigeon, Jim. What's this one? That's the national one. Yeah. What what uh, system was she raced in when she won the national? Uh, she was racing the uh, chip and eggs, the deer basket. Yeah. Has she won anything previous? She was my first bird the year before with the South Delhi. I think she was seventh or seventh fair, I think. On the second day. Yeah, so she's got some previous good form. Mm -hmm. What family is she? Oh, I don't know what family. I mean, the birds I got basically came for David Scott of Brecon. And they got right back to Atwell Brothers of uh, Wales in the 50s, I think. Yeah, it's a lovely end. Beautiful pigeon, mate. True champion. What system do you race your old birds on in Jim? Uh, totally naturally. Yeah. When do you pair up? Pair up in the middle of February, 15th of February, round about a date. Yeah. How many pairs have you got on the natural? Uh, I must have about 35. Yeah. How about feeding? Feeding, I feed a heavy mixture when they're paired up until the youngsters are weaned. And then they go into a lighter mixture, which you would call with a wood mixture, I suppose. Yeah. When they're racing. Yeah. Do, do you beef it up a little bit for the long distance? No. I find that when the birds are right for a long distance, they don't eat anything anyway. They don't? No. We'll go to... Every section winner I've had, uh, they've all been hens, and every one has been feeding. Uh... What they do is, uh, at the beginning of the year, I pair them up and let them bring up a youngster if they're going to bring up a youngster, if not, they don't. And then I work back on the calendar to get them into the right cycle for the rest I've picked. Yeah. And if they're basking for the nationals on a Tuesday, I'll have their eggs hatching on the Sunday under another pair. Yeah. They'll be sitting on dummies, and I'll let them over sit for two days, and then on the night before basking, I'll slip them back their own youngster, which will be about two days old. Yeah. And it's every six I'm going to have that way. Yeah. How about training them? They get very little training. I prefer, I think it, if you train them at, say, 60 mile, then 100 mile, then 180 mile, it, the birds get fitter and fitter, and the 180 mile doesn't touch them. If you jump them right into 200 mile, yeah. it takes a beef off them, and you can leave them for three or four weeks, and then they'll be right. Yeah. You can put them into 300 mile, then 600. Yeah. So basically, they generally just have about two races in the Federation before they go to the National. What do you think of the Widowhood system? I think the Widowhood system is a must for, for uh, sprint racing. Yeah. But I, I don't think it's a... No never, good never getting to work up here, I don't think, with 600 mil. No. And your hens are your best birds, you think? Hens has always been my best birds, but in Senate, usually the cocks has been the best birds at the Young Bird National. Yeah. She's always been a cock. And generally I'll take that cock and pair it to a good hen. So the next year, when I put the birds to the National, they go in a hen's condition. Yeah. Which something doesn't suit the cock. I've never, I mean, I've spoke to a lot of lads and their cocks is flying more so in the, the South of England. It's yeah. uh, big youngsters that cocks is feeding. My birds just don't, they don't respond to that at all. No. No. Another nice hen, Jim. What's this one? That's Ren's wife. That was the, the six I went out of range and she's the, the dam of the national winner. Yeah. She, she's been twice up till the second day and then she was third six on Ren's. 
650 mil and first 600 ends, 650 mil. And bred a national winner. And bred a national winner. It's a quality pigeon, all right, mate. What's her favourite nest condition? A small youngster again. Yeah. This is Jim's very smart loft. He has two sections for his natural racing old birds, which are trapped for the open doors. And there's a section for stock birds. And his young birds are housed on in the end section. It's a nice mealy gym, what's this one? That's New York Radio, one of my favourite birds. Yeah, it was the second section, the 15th open with a sort of week. And it was first section, four days open with a New York 775 now. Yeah, quality pigeon again. Mm. What's her best nest condition in gym? She's the same, a small youngster. Yeah. But she never flies. Taking a, a whole week before she goes to Nashville, she won't fly for a quarter an hour in a whole week. So she won't sit in the nest and it's a She's pretty keen on the youngster then, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the sea inside of one of Jim's old bird natural sections. What family of pigeons you race in, Jim? Well, basically they're, I would say, 90% Davies got a breaking. And then in, when I started, I got a pair, uh, I got four birds for Sid Bairda Hemelhems, they were Kirkpatrick. And I've had it maybe half a dozen in the, the, the 17 years I've had them. But it doesn't matter what I had, I race them, the whole program is youngsters, so if they're there, they're there, if they're not, yeah, not I don't want them again. No. How many stock birds do you keep? At the moment, there must be. Maybe 10 pair. Yeah. But there's, there's lead braids through that 10 pair. And generally, I breed some lead braids off my best flying birds every year. And Just put them to stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, over the year, I've ended up with too much of them. Yeah. When did you pair up your stock birds? It's the same time as my natural one. Something maybe a week before. Just yeah. about the beginning of February or the middle of February. Yeah. How about feeding? They are fed just basically the same, a breeding mixture. Yeah, nothing fancy, just a yeah. good. But oh, I mean, it doesn't matter if they're natural or breed, uh, stock or breeder. The, the whole lot gets as much to eat as they want to eat all the time. Yeah. This is Jim's fantastic team of stock birds. A national winning stock lot. This nice cock. Jim, what's this one? That's my original stock cock at Circus Boy. He's a sire of four six and one else. Well, I don't think we've had bad in the lock without his blood went through. No. He was bred in 1981 and he's filled six eggs this year already. So. Yeah. Was he bred by you? Mm hmm. Yeah. He's three quarter Davy Scott and a quarter uh, Sid Bearder Himmel Hempstead. How many babies you breed each season, Jim? I breed basically about 70 myself to, to race. Yeah. How far do they go? They go to everyone, unless they're injured, goes to 230 miles. And maybe six or eight will go to the young burn so 300 miles. Yeah. How about training? I give them very little training at first and then I jump them. I'll jump them. The first toss that they'll generally get will be 40 miles. Yeah. How about feeding? Feeding, again, I feed. Pretty heavy with young birds. That's why I lose a lot of the young birds, uh, the shorter races, because they won't trap it. Yeah. I think it, you can't get it two ways. You either have to concentrate on long distance racing, they need to get as much grub as they want. Yeah. Do you ever pair them up for racing? I've only had one youngster since I kept pigeons that's laid with me. I've tried pairing them up and they won't pair. No. no. Do you find that long distance racing pigeons are very slow to mature? No, I, th I find it the opposite. Do you? Mm, although they, they won't pair up, they seem to... 
If I breed lead breads, we'll say at the very end of the season. They'll pair right in February, the whole lot will pair together again. So I don't know. And the lead breads are generally, they're just treated the same as my yearlings. I mean, the first bird I got with Hastings this year, I last year, that's 460 mil with a, a lead bread. I think it's the third race in its life. This is James' magnificent young bird team, many of which have just been weaned today. And they are corkers. Are you interested in our sign in, Jim? Yeah, for, for racing it doesn't matter the slightest bit of difference for breeding, I think it does. Yeah. What do you look for in an iron? I think the easiest way to put it across with the eye sign is get as much different colours in the two birds as you can. Yeah. If you get two the two eyes it's the same, you're wasting your time. Even though the I mean even so the bear than one in eye sign competitions, if you pair them together, the eye will dilute right away. Yeah. So you oh, is that an opposite eye you pair Aye. together? As much opposite as you can. But three or four mistakes are when they're especially my, the hands off a circus boy to show a green, but it's like a metallic green. It's not the green that you see in the the, the foreign birds. It's no. like a metallic green. It only comes out when the birds in extremely good condition. Yeah. yeah. Is there a particular eye that, that races well for you? And you say it doesn't matter, but is there an eye you look for for racing at all? No, no really, no. The, the racing is just turned out with all kinds of eyes: dark brown eyes, mint, yellow eyes. It doesn't make the slightest bit of difference for a reason. No. But for, for stock, I think it does. Yeah. Alright, Jim, thanks very much for letting me see your pigeons today. It's been a great honour and a credit to you. Thank you for coming up. Jim Donaldson, long distance master.